Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And today I want to teach you three super easy ways that you can fix a photo in Photoshop using the auto correct features. Now they're super easy to find. And if you're new to Photoshop, this can help you out a ton. So let's get started. If you go to the upper left hand side of your screen in Photoshop, you'll see the tab that says image. Click on that. There's three different auto features in this drop down menu. We've got auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color. Now you could click on any of those and it will instantly change your photo. But to give you a little bit more control, I'm going to do one more step first, and that's to make a uh, duplicate background layer. So before we get into these auto features, I'm first going to go to layer and then duplicate layer. I'm going to title this one auto tone and I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go back to my background. I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to call this one auto contrast. I'm going to make sure I spell that correctly. And then one more time, I'm going to go to layer duplicate layer and this time I'm going to call it auto color and I'm going to click OK. All right, from here I have more control over those auto correct features. So let's start with the auto color. I'm going to actually I'm going to turn these other ones off right now even though nothing's going on right there just so you can see the difference in each of these features. So to play auto color I made sure that this la uh, layer is selected and I'm going to go back up to the upper left hand side and choose image. From there, I'm going to choose the auto color and I'm just going to click and watch what happens. See how quick that changed the color in my image. So here it is without the auto color. Here it is with the corrections that Photoshop is giving me. And I think it looks much better just in that one simple click. Now, if you try this auto correct for auto color and you're like, you know what, it's just a little too much. I'm not really loving the results. The reason I put this on a separate layer is because now we can change the opacity of the auto color. So I can come up here to opacity and I can say, OK, I want to drop it down just a little bit because I think the auto color was just a little too much. So we might play that auto color at 63% and that looks a little better. See how easy that was to change that? All right, I'm going to turn off the auto color and I'm going to see what happens if we uh, try the auto contrast feature. So I'm going to go back up to image, choose image, and this time I'm going to select auto contrast. Now this time there isn't that big of a difference that's happening here with the contrast. So I can tell my photo was probably very well contrasted to begin with. So let's move on to the auto tone. I'm going to turn that one on. Once again, I'm going to go back up to image and now I'm going to select the auto tone and see what Photoshop does for me here. All right, that changed the toning of my image quite a bit little too much for me so I'm going to take that opacity once again and I'm going to bring down that tone just a little bit but you can see there it is without and there it is with that one simple click of choosing auto tone now if I also wanted to put on the auto contrast or auto color I could do that um, I could also switch around these layers and see what happens uh, to my photo when I do that you could choose to use one or all three and it fixes your photo very easily. Let me show you real quick with one other image. Let me pull this one up here. Now I already went through and I ran the auto color, auto contrast and auto tone on this one already. I just want you to see how much difference happens with this auto correct. Um, let's start with the auto color. Look at that. And one click, I just ran auto color and Photoshop adjusted the colors in this image. So whereas here it looks kind of reddish orange, 
Photoshop brought that down. And to me, this might be a little bit too much auto color, so I might just drop that opacity down on this one just a little bit. All right, let's take a look and see what auto contrast did on this image. If you remember the first one, it didn't really do much to that one. But on this image here, you can see it really pops out that contrast. And all I did was hit that auto contrast up in the image tab. So pretty cool. All right, and then the last one, the auto tone. Ah, that looks much better. I think the, the toning on this one really worked with that autocorrect in Photoshop. So here is that image with the auto tone. And once again, to get this, all I did was go up to image and then clicked auto tone. All right, give it a try on some of your photos and see how quick these corrections can help your pictures. I hope you learned something today. And if you want to check out the written instructions on this or see more photos with the autocorrect features on the blog, you can check out the link below. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.